Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to The Naomi Show where we're talking about relationships from dating to divorce, meeting to marriage and all the stages in between. It's all about your love life and it's great to have you with us. Well, Valentine's Day is only a couple of days away and it's a time when a lot of girly romantics like me start thinking about love and relationships. Now sure, some people would say it's a contrived celebration, but if you put that aside, it's the opportunity to celebrate love, that is, if you have a partner. But what do men think of this day for lovers? Well, today I'm joined by my panel of guys, Peter Laser, Rhys Ulich, and Mark Pennell, who are here to give us the inside story on what men really think. They're our dating advisors, if you like, who are here to give us their perspective on Valentine's Day and give girls some advice on the do's and don'ts of what gifts to give their guys. And Peter, what are your thoughts on Valentine's Day? Do you enjoy it? I'm not a huge fan of Valentine's Day, no, it's fair to say. I think guys, as a general rule, aren't as big of fans as they are, as girls are. But I can see the romantic notion. I can see why it would be very good for couples and those that are in love to make an excuse yeah. or make an effort. But I just think there are many better ways throughout the course of the year that you don't need a manufactured celebration. And it might be because, I've got a little bit of cynicism, because... I've never really had a good Valentine's Day. Really? I've got, oh, I don't know. I may have one or two in my time, but more often than not, they've got the horror stories that come out, which I'm sure everyone's got. Like, like what? What would be well, the Well, I was, I was going to rekindle the flame with an ex-girlfriend a few years ago, and this was it, you know. I thought, this is, girl, everyone's done it. We've all been in that situation, and got the beautiful Pepper Jack Shiraz, and got the candles ready, went and got Romeo and oh, Juliet, which probably shows you about how far, how long ago it was, <laughs> and then got the sort of the text message saying, no, not happening. You're kidding. And so I had the movie anyway. I had the wine anyway. I didn't put the candles on, which is probably just as well. So I ended up watching Romeo and Juliet drinking red wine by myself on Valentine's Day. And that may be where a lot of cynicism comes from. That's relatively tragic. Yeah, yeah, look, I think I'd it agree. is. I'm willing to, to move forward and change that if there's a, a wonderful offer on the table. But I just don't think guys get as much out of it as, as girls do. I don't think... I think we, it's almost like it's a test for a guy, and guys don't like being tested, certainly it is in the last I think a lot of guys feel a bit of pressure on yeah. Valentine's Day to, yeah. to pull out all the stops, don't they? What mm. about you, Mark? What do you think of it? You know, Valentine's Day is, um, is, is for girls, and, and you know, I, first of all, let me preface this by saying <laughs> I am, I'm, in fa I'm in favour of any celebration that, that, uh, that celebrates love yeah. and, and harmony and relationship. Great, terrific. Yeah. But the reality of it is for... Um, for for girls, it's about uh, it's about uh, emotional uh, it's about emotional bonding, yeah. and uh, and and ways to do that you know and romantic ways to do that and, and do that. More. For guys, it's about sex and a guy. Really? Yeah, absolutely. And that's it. Reese, do you agree? Well, I saw you nodding there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning as I go. <laughs> he was actually thinking, what day isn't about that, for guys? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Initially, I, yeah. yeah. Um, no, but no. And, that, and is that really it? It's that's like, it. A guy willing will, to put the time. A guy in, will buy the, the chocolates. Guy will buy the chocolates. Get the roses to avoid confrontation and get sex. Really, That's Reese? What do you think? Well, that could be where I'm going wrong. I used to think it's all about the romance. I never really got oh, the Reece, end of the you day. see, you, there oh, we yeah. go, but girls. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe well, the young boys, you know, they can. <laughs> 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 they can what, so it. the older and crustier you get. <laughs> I know. See, I'm older and cynical now. <laughs> That's going to take a lot of chocolates really? and a lot of flowers, Mark. Isn't That's right. Reese, though. No, Reese. So, Reese, what do you think about it? Well, maybe it's realistic. I, I think uh, there is a lot more pressure on the guy. Um, yeah. The girl can sit back and, and expect everything to be done from on the day, and then. And, you know, with, with sob stories like Poor Pete's, if you have one or two bad stories, it's really easy to call on your shell and, and, and refuse to come out again. So I feel sorry for these two older gents. <laughs> yeah. On either side of me who are uh, maybe in a bit of fear. So have you had any good Valentine's Days? What have yours Look, been like? Naomi, I have. I think um, it's probably a reflection. For me, Valentine's Day a reflection of how well your relationship's going. Yeah. It's really new and blossoming. Valentine's Day can be quite oh, yeah. fresh and, and, and new, you know, as a reflection of that. <clears throat> But as the relationship gets older and more stale, so does a Valentine's Day. So I think, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just uh, another day, but also it's, it's one with, with a lot of importance and a lot of pressure on the guy. Now tell me this, if a girl is buying her guy um, a gift for Valentine's Day, what advice can you give her now? A romantic gift or do you prefer practical gifts? I think a romantic gift would be the best because mm -hmm. that would be symbolic of the day. So I think very much a romantic gift. And it doesn't come down to how much money you spend or where you happen to get it. One of the best gifts I think I ever got was actually just a card. Inside the card was like a massage voucher. Yeah, that's a good idea. For her to give me a massage. So yep. you, 
you hand it in whenever you want it and you get the little back rub. Oh, and I see. So she was going she to give it. She was going to give it. So very not good. Like, and very cheap. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, that was sort of where, like, we're, well, that's depending where we're at. Depending on, on how long that. it took her. I was going to say, it didn't turn out to be that way, I'm sure. But, <laughs> but what a wonderful gift yeah, that is. Probably the most expensive gift she ever gave. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the last time I saw her. However. <laughs> that's not actually true. Okay, okay. So However, she, she never fulfilled the promise of the of the massage? Oh, I didn't wait too long to cash it in, it's fair to say. But I think it's personal... It's personal, it is thought of, and mm. it's something that you don't normally do. You don't take the time out to do yeah. that. Busy lives, hectic schedules, yeah. it doesn't happen. So I think something more <laughs> personal and romantic will far outweigh token gifts such as... A um, petrol voucher or something like <laughs> a that. A petrol voucher probably wouldn't do that so well. <laughs> but after shaving these sort of things, I think you can spend a lot of money for no particular reason, whereas yeah. I think something a lot more personal, something that means something to you. And it's... It's summer. There are so many things you can do. Tickets to the Moonlight Cinemas or something. Yeah. What That's do you think, good. Reese? Pitch Presents for that out. But I, look, I generally didn't even... I must have seen the wrong women because I never get a present. I think any really? present would be fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I always thought it was... Oh, girls, the, come on. You've got to well, give the guys nice. a little something yeah. for Valentine's Day. It would be nice. Day. Obviously, Mark wants sex, but I'm, I'm happy with, <laughs> with, with everything. And you don't, Reese. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll but you'd be happy with sex. <laughs> I'm not going to demand well, it. Well, uh, all I can say is I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, Pete's massage story was a, was a happy ending. Uh, um, not so happy, so <laughs> anyway. It wasn't that sort of massage. Okay. Don't touch. Okay. Um, mm. What about you, Mark? <laughs> Gifts for Valentine's Day? Advice for girls? Sure. Um, you know what? I, I actually, all jokes aside, or well not, um, the, uh, I think that the idea of, a, uh, of something you buy a guy that would normally not buy for himself and that is mm. generally a guy will not, you know, it's unlikely to go and buy himself a massage or some kind of treatment or something like that. Yeah. So something like that works. Yeah, yeah. I think that, that works. Oh, yeah. good. Mm. Okay, guys, that's great advice. Yeah. And I hope that gave you some ideas out there. And that's the show for today. Thanks for joining us. And you know, we love to hear your stories and suggestions, and you can leave them on the website at naomishow.com. You can also leave your video questions or blogs, and we may even use them in the show. So don't be shy, send them in. We look forward to hearing from you. And I'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.